you guys I am right now in Denmark and uh, this is my 124th country and I I'm gonna leave tonight um, I've been really enjoying traveling Scandinavia so I started in Iceland then I went to Finland and I spent the day there and then I flew to Sweden and spent two days there then I took a bus from Stockholm to Oslo I did not like Oslo so I left <laughs> and came here to Copenhagen on a bus and when I tell you I love taking a bus like if you're traveling Europe take buses and trains because when I tell you I was almost in tears by the beauty just driving through Norway and Sweden like it was just breath like you gotta do Europe on a bus like you just gotta like you have to it's worth it and I was pretty comfortable because I sat in the front of the bus and the bus buses are pretty clean in these countries so I had my own space and it was nothing for me it was absolutely not annoying or tedious but these are all the world's most expensive countries um, so Iceland Norway Denmark Sweden uh, Finland are the world's most expensive countries, the world's richest countries besides Qatar. Um, yeah, they're the mo world's most expensive countries, and whoo, ooh, sweetie, 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 it's, <clears throat> it always cracks me up when people think, like, Dubai is expensive, like, absolute, it's not at all, Scandinavia? Oh my goodness, it's insane here, and the food is gross. <laughs> but other than that, I love it. I My favorite is Stockholm. I love Sweden and Stockholm, and we drove through some cities that I, my mouth was just dropped open. I'm like, where are we? I'm like writing down Gothenburg, Sweden. Beautiful. I didn't stay there. We just drove through it. Gothenburg and Helsingborg. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I have to come back and visit those parts of Sweden, but I'm packing right now. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to Country 125 tonight. I'm spending the whole day here, and then I'm going to get on a bus tonight. That's going to take 24 hours drive, and then I'll be in Country 125 tonight, and um, that will complete Europe. When I'm done with that country, I will have visited all of Europe, uh, the entire continent. And it feels good. It'll be my 125th country, and it's crazy. I don't know what happened when I hit 125. Like, all of a sudden, I felt like the wind got taken out of me, and I was like, I only have 70 countries left, so I'm visiting every country in the world. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have 70 countries left. Oh my gosh, I have 70 countries left. And part of it sounds like a little bit of countries. Part of it sounds like, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> how am I gonna do this? So, um, yeah, I made this. If you guys want to support my journey, Mary Jane's world tour, me being the next human to visit every country in the world, uh, there have only been three American girls, American females, to visit every country in the world. There's only been three, and black, I don't know. I know there's been one already, but I don't know about black girls who've traveled every country in the world. I know of one. So I don't know the data on that, but it's somewhere between one and five. I know that for sure. So I'll be somewhere in there, but maybe the first, maybe, I mean, maybe the second or third American. Um, but actually, the girl who traveled every country in the world who was black, she's from Africa. Um, she's African. So... I don't know about like black girls, like American black girls um, to travel every country in the world. I honestly don't know. Maybe I'll be the first, maybe I'm the second, maybe I'm the third, but it's somewhere around there. Anyways. Um, <coughs> anyways. Um, I'm about to finish and I want to finish up around March of next year. 50 of these countries, 50 of the 70 are in Africa. 
So I've been kind of taking on continents at a time, like I'm going to finish this continent, then I'm going to finish this continent. So I haven't really done Africa, I've only done 7 African countries and there's 54. So yeah, I have about 50 countries roughly in Africa and then uh, 20 more cleaning up around here and there. I haven't done Papua New Guinea, I haven't done Australia or New Zealand, I haven't done um, the Caribbean. So when I done when I finish like the Caribbean and I finish Africa and then a few little cleanup I'll be done. But still, it still sounds daunting. So if I would so much appreciate your love and support if you feel led to help me. Um, I have the link down below where you can help me and I'm like what can I do for people in exchange? Like what's something cool I can do for people in exchange if they want to donate to my challenge? So I thought it'd be really cool to send you guys postcards. So if you sign up to help me down below, um, then uh, it's $25 in exchange. I'm not too proud to say that I need help these last 70 countries. Like, oof, oof, 70. It just sounds, it sounds, because I've been to 125, it sounds like, wow, 70, oof. But it also sounds like, wow, 70. <laughs> I feel like this whole time I've been climbing Mount Everest, honestly. Traveling every country in the world by yourself as a female, as a black girl. Not that I think my skin color has to do with it, but just as a solo female, you know. I'm, I feel like I've been climbing Mount Everest. And I don't see anyone else doing what I'm doing, so I'm alone. And I've just been kind of climbing just my next hand, next hand, next hand. And I feel like I finally just look down and I'm like, whoa. And I haven't looked down the whole time. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just looked down and I've come so far. But I'm also looking up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a while to go, but I can see the finish line. You know, I can see the top of Mount Everest. It's right there. But I'm like, do I have enough strength? Do I have enough money? Do I have whoa like this is oh my gosh 70 more countries by myself 50 of those countries in Africa like I'm like you guys I know I can do it but I, I need help so if you feel led to help me I put the link down below if you want to donate to my journey it's $25 and in exchange I will send you a postcard from these last 70 countries. So boom, I visit South Africa, you get a postcard. I haven't been there yet. I've been to Namibia, you get a postcard. Papua New Guinea, you're getting a postcard. <laughs> you know, and I thought that would be a cool way to kind of, in exchange for your help. If you want to help me, you'll be a part of history. I think there's only been a few females, a handful of females to visit every country in the world especially under the age of 30, I'm 27, and I don't know how many women under 20, women in their 20s who have visited every country in the world. I think there's like two or three, honestly. I need to find out the data exactly, but I think there's only been two or three girls to visit every country in the world in their 20s. So this is not small, this is a big deal. I'll be a part of history to finish every country in the world. And I've already hit up Guinness Book of World Record and I asked them, is there any record I'm covering? I know I'm not the first female to visit every country in the world. I won't be, but I think I might be some kind of first. Like if you, the, if you look at what I'm doing in some kind of way, I might be like the fastest, the one to get it done the fastest or Maybe I'm the first American born black female because the, I know another black girl did it, but she was African. I'm not Af like I'm American through and through. Um, so I, there's got to be maybe I'm the first girl from New Jersey to visit every country. Like there's got to be some record I'm hitting. I know there has to be. So I reached out to them and they're looking into it to see if what kind of record I can get. Maybe I'm the first girl from New Jersey or the first black like actually black girl that's not from Af like I'm not from Africa I wasn't born in Africa my parents weren't born in Africa my parents 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 weren't born in Africa um so I'm like a black female 
anyways, there's got to be some kind of thing I'm, 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 some kind of record I, I'd be getting. So I'm looking into that. But yeah, if you feel that to help, I would appreciate that so much. It would literally mean the world to me. I'll put the link down below if you want to help me with these last 70 countries. <laughs> last 70. I'm leaving this hotel room. My hotel is, I'm like, I feel like I'm in Paris. It looks just like Paris, the hotel room. Um, the outside, I'll show you in a second. But I'm going to walk around because I have a bus tonight, but I have to waste time. Also, I want to walk around and see Copenhagen a little bit. Um, I've been here before, but I didn't stay that long, so I never counted it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to walk, go to Navdam, Naidav, whatever. I'm not going to try and butcher what it's called, so I just need to finish packing up and then walk around and then tonight I have a bus to my 125th country. The bus will take 24 hours. <laughs> so yeah, we what I mean by it's giving Paris, like this is giving Paris hotel, Parisian hotel. But it's really beautiful, and uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pack up so I can leave. Copenhagen. Love that.